Well, I wanted to show you guys something kind of cool that I made. Uh, Y'all are familiar with my solar thing. Well, what I did is I've disconnected my solar. It's not connected anymore to my charge controller. I've got two 100 watt kits coming in and it's coming out right here at 21 volts and it's just coming directly into here. There's no battery. Uh, it's just straight uh, solar power. So it comes in here, 21 volts, goes through the little 12 volt regulator and these are 3055 transistors and it comes out here at 12 volts. These are supposed to be 10 amps a piece. I highly doubt it, maybe five amps a piece, but they say they're rated 10. The heat sinks are kind of small. This is just a test thing. And uh, I put this capacitor on here just so it would have some type of a uh, little bit of a charge in it. Uh, so whenever you play like the music or whatever, it's got some kind of almost like a battery, but not. And I've got it hooked up to this little amp and I've got some music coming out of this little phone over here supposedly it's not copywritten so it's gonna be loud but check it out <laughs> so anyway, there's no battery. this is straight straight from the solar panels so if you didn't have a battery you could just hook your solar panels up to one of these and still have 12 volts of power thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to hook a small inverter up to it later and see if it works. Uh, I got a little 400 watt inverter in the truck and uh, these get uh, just a little warm. Um, this thing doesn't really pull that much. I wish I had a bigger one that run on 12 volts. That's why I'm going to get the 400 watt inverter, hook it up to this and just see how much power I can get out. Of course I'm not going to use these because these wires aren't big enough to pull you know, if this thing can do 40 amps, I highly doubt it. But, you know, let's say 15, 20 amps. The, I can't get it out of these little wires, especially clamped like that. But what I wanted to show you was this board. I thought it was really cool. Um, let me disconnect this so when I mess around with it, I don't destroy it. Looks kind of cool on top, down underneath. <laughs> uh, what I did was I run these 3055s uh, in parallel with each other. Because uh, if one's 10, then two's 20, and then 30 and 40. Now, I tried this a long time ago when I built a power supply with the two N3055s, which is the big metal ones. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I have one here to show you. If it's still in here. My box is junk. Um, let's see here. Here it is. These are the two N3055s, the big brother of these little guys. Uh, these are 15 amp rated, and these are 10 amp rated. Um, I could just use this by itself for 15 amps. But I made an, uh, a power supply, just a 12 volt power supply, and I ran eight of these in parallel. But I had a problem because you'd get two or three of them would get really hot, and the other ones would just barely get warm at all. And then as later on in time goes by, I learned that you can't really do it that way without adding some resistors and stuff to it. It's called uh, amp hogging, power hogging, current hogging, or something like that. Because these transistors have like a startup voltage, and they're like less than a volt. Uh, and if you get one that's like 0.5 volts, or the other one's 0.6, and you got one that's 0.7, well the 0.5 is going to turn on first, and it's going to kind of like hog all the... It's going to try to do the load by itself. So that's that's why you got to add some other stuff to it. But I didn't have that problem with the little ones because I've been touching these as it's been on and they're all hot. They all get like really hot. I had it so hot earlier that you couldn't keep your finger on them very long. So maybe these operate a little different. I'm not sure. But I ran them parallel with each other. There's no resistors or nothing. Uh, just ran some heavy wire on the bottom. And anyway, that's kind of neat. Thought I would show it to you. Um, you can buy all this stuff, these heat sinks and stuff. I've got like a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, here's the thing. I got them on Amazon. You get a whole kit here. They come in these little packages, little heat sinks. Get like, oh, I think I got 10 of them for like $5. So kind of neat little projects. 
and uh, I got the 3055s. They were like five for five dollars. They're real cheap. And I just got me a whole pack of uh, 12 volt regulators. I couldn't find any 13.8 regulators. I'll have to go to the local supply house here and see if I can find them because I'd rather have them around there. Um, you could probably charge a battery with this because I bet you'd get full power because I come to find out uh, you guys have sent me uh, quite, a, quite a bit of information on these charge controllers and these are just not real efficient. Um, the ones y'all told me to get are really expensive and they're like $180 for uh, those other controllers that supposedly are about 90% more efficient. So, kind of wanted to try to build one. I'd have to probably get a diode for this because for the output to go to the battery, um, I don't know if I can actually connect this to a battery and have power going back into it. I'll have to uh, try it and see what happens. But anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.